In this video, we're going to create a YouTube thumbnail. The biggest misconception is that you need to use apps like Photoshop or Illustrator to create your thumbnails. If you got Photoshop or Illustrator and you know how to use them, by all means, definitely go for it. But you can do it without them. I make most of my thumbnails using Adobe Illustrator and others have used many other online applications. Today, we will use Adobe Spark because it's simple and easy to get results fast. And you can also use a free version too. The following channel has been creating videos online that have received many views but their thumbnails could use some work. Today's redesign is Gravy's Brewery. Let's head over to Adobe Spark and log in. If you don't have an Adobe account, go ahead and create an account. Adobe Spark has many YouTube thumbnail templates. As you can see, Google recommends a custom thumbnail size at 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall. Either click back home or click on the Spark icon to get back to the main screen. Click on custom size and enter 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall and click next when ready. Currently their thumbnails are mainly a logo of their brew. With any food or beverage video you want to show the end product. The creator reviews and talks about the brews. In his latest video it is a dark ale called Imperial Brown Ale. Let's get started. I am going to click on the photos icon and find free photos for beer. The cool thing about Adobe Spark is the images are free. Some of the pictures are from Pixabay, Unsplash, and Pixels. I want a concept that doesn't have a logo to confuse the video's title and the channel's logo. Once you've found an image, click on the image and it automatically gets placed on your post. I'm going to close the sidebar at the top left corner as shown here. To zoom out, click on the magnifying tool or use the keyboard shortcuts Command minus for the Mac or Control minus for a PC. Place your cursor on the top of the image and the cursor will change to a bi-directional arrow. Resize the image to the full width and height as possible. I will extend the image a tad over the size, making sure no slight gaps are showing. Click on the text icon and you'll see different templates for the text style. Anything with a yellow banner means premium users, so a free account won't have access to this. This is fine because the premium text terms are way too busy for our needs. Try to keep it simple. Click on add your text. Remember, we only have two to three seconds to grab a viewer's attention. On the right hand side, you can change the font, size, and color. You can also grab it by the corner of the text box to resize it as well. Beside the alignments, I'm going to click on the circle, grid, and magic alignments. I like the magic one, as the text fits the space evenly from left to right, and then adjust the line spacing. Pretty slick, huh? While text on a white image makes it hard to read, you can add a drop shadow which will soften the text a bit here. Hmm, the drop shadow is a gold color, so let's click on the gold swatch to change the drop shadow to be a proper color like black. Click anywhere to apply that shadow or to get out from the swatches. We can also place a logo, but only use a logo if it's a high quality image. Click on the logo icon. As you can see, we can't upload the logo because it's only for premium users, but you can place your logo by uploading a photo. It is a small workaround, but it works. The logo gets placed on your thumbnail. Resize the logo and move the logo anywhere you want. You can rotate the logo with this rotate tool. In this case, I will place the logo as is and give the illusion it's in the top half of the class. Go ahead and select my background image. The photo of the beer is a bit light. Usually, I would use Photoshop to fix the color. Adobe Spark allows you to go through the enhancements, blurs, and filters. I want to make my pale ale here to be a darker ale. Play with the effects of brightness, shadow, lighting, and contrast. Each image will always be different. To apply the result, click off the effect. It's time to download the thumbnail to your computer. You have the option to download this as a PDF, PNG, or JPEG. I'm going to download this as a solid color PNG. The image will download into my folder, and it's called My Posts. Now I can use this customized thumbnail for your channel. But before I do, I will rename this file so I know what this file is for record keeping. Hey everyone, if you'd like a YouTube thumbnail review, redesign, and tutorial, let me know by adding your comment below with the name of your channel and what video, and I'd be happy to do it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.